Yesterday, we dropped off an empty baking dish in Brooklyn. And today, that same dish is going to be returned to me, filled with a rich, cheesy lasagna, a truly remarkable idea. This clever service was the brainchild of my next uh, guest, who opened, designed, and created the menu of a small 50-seat restaurant called Brucey all on her own. You can find her on a daily basis behind the stove, creating recipes, developing new menus, and sourcing local ingredients, and living her dream. Please welcome Zara Tangora. So, ah, okay. Here, just put that right okay. there. Oh. Here's your lasagna. Oh, it smells delicious. Thank it you. It looks good. Thank you very and much. It has, oh, it has breadcrumbs. A little crunch on the top yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah, really, really nice. So what idea, what, what came up, how did you come up with this idea for doing a sort of takeout, uh, but bring your own pot? Well, um, at Brucey, you know, we try to make everything feel very home, homey, like you're in your friend's kitchen. Right. Um, I myself have never even worked in a restaurant before opening Brucey. So I just kind of get the idea of, of wanting to make people feel just at home. Oh, I'm supposed to cut this yeah. and taste it. Okay. <laughs> I'm dying Dig to. right in. I'm dying to. It. Okay, so, okay, I'm just measuring. All right. And would you like a piece, too? Oh, yes, please. Okay. I'm so, starving. I'm so breakfast. <laughs> you, do you eat your own food every day? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, good. Excellent. Absolutely. So let me see. Oh, this is beautiful. It so no meat. Really good. No meat. No meat. Uh, we have some roasted plum tomatoes in instead Home, of a sauce. And homemade noodles. Homemade pasta, yep. We make okay. uh, almost all of our pasta fresh at Brucey. Okay. Oh, boy, does that look good. And this <gasps> recipe was just mm. uh, inspired by, you know, trying to use really super fresh ingredients. Um, you know, we try to use seasonal ingredients, but uh, so, tomatoes are... So did you learn how to cook at home? Uh, yes, my parents yeah. um, owned a takeout food shop called The Love oh, and Oh, they Oven. did? Yeah. Oh. So uh, I learned from them. Oh, this the looks amazing. <laughs> you can't have a small piece of this, by no. the way. You can't, can't get a small piece out of the dish. All right. So roasted tomatoes. <laughs> roasted tomatoes, um, roasted with a lot of garlic, a little bit of sugar. Yeah, There's a lot too. of garlic. I just, a lot. You I can just, smell, right? yeah, you can. Oh, it's, uh, it just looks so good. So Great. here, you can have Should a little taste. In? Yeah. So what inspired this recipe? Uh, well, this recipe, as I was saying, you know, we try to use seasonal um, fruits and vegetables and everything, but sometimes in the winter you gotta really just get a tomato. I, mean, um, I think I can eat the whole lasagna. It's pretty yummy. Yeah, very, it's really good. Very yummy. Um, very I'm fresh. Trying tasting. to mix the creamy with the tomato. With the crunch. Little, little crunch. Yeah, it's a. And where do you get the ricotta? We make the ricotta at oh. Brucey. We mm. get beautiful um, organic cream mm. from uh, Maple Off Dairy in uh, Lancaster County, and we make it using apple cider vinegar, and uh, yeah, it's tasty. really simple. So let's get, you wanna get cooking? Yeah, let's make All some. Right. Now, let's in addition it. to running the restaurant, you, how much takeout do you do every day? We do a lot of takeout. Oh, we have a pretty good like takeout business going on, which is which is good, it, it adds to. So roast the tomatoes. Yes, now, we roast them. With, now these um, are just, are these like supermarket tomatoes um, right well, now? Well, we use at the restaurant uh, plum tomatoes, but okay. you know, it's not a fussy recipe. So okay. we can use cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes. So two quarts of Roma mm -hmm. tomatoes. Yep. And then this is quite a bunch of garlic. <laughs> I, you know, I saw I saw Nikki chopping garlic yesterday, and it was a mound of garlic. And I said, "What's that for?" She said, "You'll see tomorrow. Lasagna. This is it. Here it is." So that's like a half a cup. Yeah, it's a half a cup of garlic oh, okay. for the two quarts of tomatoes. Okay, so I'll put that in here. Yep. And we're going to roast these in the oven. Yes, we're okay. roasting the oven with some good extra virgin olive oil. Okay, so a half a cup of olive oil. Yep. And also some black pepper. And uh, so Mayo. all your, yo, of course, okay. you, you, it's your <laughs> recipe. You show us. Okay. A, a quarter of a cup of salt. Yep, and also a little bit of sugar. Okay. How about a half a cup, maybe a little bit less, okay. depending on the tomato. These look pretty okay. sweet. And, and salt. And a cup, quarter cup of salt. Mm, so amazing. Yeah. Get that all going. And the thing when the tomatoes... What, uh, what temperature? We bake them at 375 for about 45 minutes. And every tomato is different. Every on, uh, every oven is different. So we just want to get them like nice and soft. Okay, so just, in a, just in a dish like this? Yeah, just oh, in a okay. nice Pyrex dish helps them like get nice and saucy. Okay. And so so you're really not stirring, you're not doing anything. You don't no, have to in the really oven. it's really like a very, very loose, easy recipe. And okay. these tomatoes are great with anything. Oh, they good. They go fabulous on well, a crostini. Well, roasting them like this really changes the taste of these yeah, tomatoes. Yeah, it's nice and sweet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Amazing. Okay. So the, we have uh, the next step, I think, over here is uh, we're going to make a bechamel. So it's white, It's basically a white lasagna. Here, you do this, and I'll eat. Okay. Yeah, please. Oh, my this gosh. This is too good. Oh, that my gosh. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 
So you have milk yeah, and some so butter. Yeah, we're gonna make a basic bechamel. We have some butter in here, and we're gonna add flour. The and recipe, by the way, is on our website at MarthaStewart.com. So, and uh, uh, but how much butter? Uh, how much um, butter? It's about three quarters of a cup of flour to about the same amount of butter to make okay. a pretty standard bechamel. Okay. Um, so. We get this going in here, and then we're going um, oh, to add some turn milk, on. right? <laughs> that would help. I didn't know if it was just for maybe TV purposes. <laughs> no, no, no. We're cooking. We're making bechamel. All right. Fabulous. Uh, okay, so we're getting our bechamel going. So what's your favorite thing to make? Well, I mean, I love lasagna. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love a lasagna? Um, you know, we make all kinds of things. So we just started getting into making some of our own cheeses. We just made burrata yesterday for the oh, first time. Oh, really? I brought oh, good. one for you to try Oh, you did? Later. Did, you, did you put cream in it? We did. We made the stracciatella with the cream oh. and the curds. It was pretty, all of this? pretty great. Oh, yeah. Add the flour. Okay. Get that all going until it's just like a light blonde roux. Okay. Um, really easy. And we're going to cook until it's thickened a little bit, okay. and uh, just so the flour cooks out. And then we're going to add some milk if you want to okay, go ahead so and add the milk. Well, here, this is the milk. Yep. Ten cups of milk. Yes. You want to make a nice saucy lasagna. Nobody likes it. And this is all for one lasagna? Yeah, it's for one lasagna. And you know, if you have some extra, just toss it together with a little bit of fresh pasta or the extra um, lasagna. So ten cups of milk, have. that's two and a half quarts of milk. Yeah. Okay. And we use, um, at the restaurant, we use, like, only organic Is that milk. right, Joey? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> really? Are you sure? I, I'm not How sure. How many cups in a quart? <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> I went to a community college, so I got to get this all back. <laughs> it's eight cu cups in a quart. It's four, seven. Thank you. <laughs> no, four, is it four cups? No, no eight mean, cups in a quart. You do your research and come back and tell me, okay? <laughs> All right. And some oh fresh ground gosh. nutmeg. Okay, some nutmeg. What about this heavy cream? And the cream as well, yeah. Okay. Let's get it all, all in the pot. So the nutmeg is a very good addition yeah. to bechamel. I love... Fresh nutmeg is yes. like really where it's at. And I'm using that little fine wood rasp for the... You know, when you ask questions like that, how many cups in a quart and how many quarts in a gallon, you... You know, it's t it's time to always keep learning. If yeah. you don't know, Joey, did you figure it out yet? No, I have not, Martha. <laughs> I'm busy. My mouth is watering for this lasagna. My mind can't think straight, Martha. <laughs> That's funny. That's the effect we hope to have with the lasagna. Make people uh, not people think about anything else. <laughs> How many pints in a quart, Joey? Uh, four pints in a quart. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Sixteen. We're gonna let our tomatoes roast, and we're gonna let our bechamel thicken, and when we come back, we'll assemble Zara's lasagna. Good. All right, so let's finish the lasagna. <laughs> okay, let's get we to it. We made the pasta. I know I yeah, saw I saw us make, Sarah making the pasta this morning. Now, this is uh, made with zero, zero flour. Yeah, double zero flour. Okay. We use Caputo double zero flour. Um, and, 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 eggs. Uh, and eggs, that's it. Yeah, a little bit of water, just okay. depending on, you know. So what goes first, the bechamel or the we tomato? We do the bechamel first, if, okay. if you would like to do that, so it'd be fabulous. two cups of bechamel. Two cups of bechamel per layer. Per layer, And okay. we can get the, I think we can get the fresh pasta recipe that we use at Brucey on your website. Too, oh, okay, for your, definitely. For all of you out there in TV land. Yep, we'll put it, we'll put it there. <laughs> okay, cool. And uh, all right. So then, so who's who's at the restaurant cooking? How many people work um, there? Well, we have a very small staff. My sous chef Frank is there right now in charge of everything, and my, my boyfriend Dan, who helps run the restaurant too. Okay, is we might have to spread this. It down. Yeah, I have to spread, spread this. that all bit. around, okay. and then we're gonna kind of just come in here with some of this roasted tomatoes uh, with the sauce. You can kind of, you know, if the tomatoes are seeming a little firm, you can mash them up oh, okay. a little bit to make it more of a sauce. Mm. Every tomato is different. And then what about the ricotta? Okay. Here's the ricotta. Some of our ricotta, as I mentioned before, we make it fresh. Little dollops? Yeah. Just like little dollops all over. And then mm. I am a big pecorino cheese fan. In fact, in the restaurant, we use almost only pecorino oh, really? instead no, of parmesan. Oh, really? How I come? think it has like a little bit more of a, like a salty, like pungent, you know, good flavor. Um, so like we're very generous here with the uh, pecorino. Okay. Okay. So... You and, and if you want, do you do clam sauce ever, like oh, on your yeah. pasta? Oh, yeah, we do. Do you allow people to have cheese on their clam pasta? You know, I try not to be too strict, Martha. I mean, okay. I wouldn't Good. put it on my pasta, but I'm not going to, you know, really. I'm not going to tell anybody But if somebody wants it, you it. can have it. They won't be kicked out for cheese on the clam <laughs> sauce. Everyone's got a okay. different kind of personal taste. Okay, so we're just okay. going to put some fresh basil leaves on this next layer. Very liberally dispersed, just so whole basil good. leaves. Yeah, okay. Mm. And then and layer this, okay. Yeah. 
So that goes down. And just keep layering, yeah, layering, just keep layering. layering. So you get the idea. Um, this exactly. is so beautiful. Yeah, and a lasagna is fun because you don't have to be too particular, you know? If, if it, you have a little bit more of this or if it looks messy, it all comes out good once you bake yeah. it. Yeah, so about how many layers is it really? Uh, four? It's four layers total, oh, and our is. last layer is just going to be bechamel and mm. pecorino and breadcrumbs, oh, no tomatoes. So amazing. Yeah. So there. Okay, and I'll put a little bit more tomato. Spread that around. Boop. And the oven is um, um, at a, at home. The oven will be 350 uh, for about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes. You just want it to be cooked, right? You know, so if it's looking Melted. a little mushy in the middle, just put it in for a little bit more time. Okay, but it does get cooked yes. through and through, and yes. and a little crusty on the top. Yeah, with, that, with a little those bread the edges. Now, what kind of bread do you use for your breadcrumbs? Well, we use the bread that we get from Caputo's Bakery, which is right down the street from us. So when oh, we good. have leftover bread, we take it, we toast it, and we make our fresh breadcrumbs. Okay. Okay. More the cheese, pecorino. more pecorino. A little more of everything. Okay, so, so now we get the top we're gonna layer, top one. layer on here, right? Yeah, yeah. Get okay. going. And okay. once we finish making this this beautiful thing here, we're gonna cover it with foil so the top doesn't burn. It okay. is amazing. And I'm gonna go ahead here and make the breadcrumbs. We're gonna add um, so two cups of toasted breadcrumbs. We have two tablespoons of olive oil. Mix it around. Mm. And then we're going to do our top layer with breadcrumbs. It's so fun. It's yeah. a very nice lasagna. And, and it is fun to make pasta, too. And if you have it's children, great. it's a great thing to let them do uh, when they come home from school is to okay. make, the, make the pasta. Little now, you, did you learn at your mom's knee and your dad's knee? Um, I, the restaurant was closed before I was old enough oh. to cook. But I do hear that I used to get pushed around in a mixing bowl. So oh. I think that may have uh, <laughs> helped contribute to some of my early education okay. on food. So okay. now we're, we're, it's parchment lined foil. Yep, and we're gonna tent it. Okay. Okay. And in the oven. This is gonna go in the oven for about an hour, an hour, 20 minutes. Over here. Oh, and Joey, you wanna taste? Yes, I do want to. Oh, see Joey's one. always ready. Here, I'll give you a taste. And you know, it's so tender that you can just cut it with a fork. It's the best. Yeah, it's really good. I like the garlic oh. and sugar mixture. Yeah. I never heard of that before. It's, it makes for an interesting and delicious combination. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Sounds like a nice little snack, too. <laughs> well, you know, that's great. The tomatoes are great just over pasta, wouldn't you say? And um, before serving lasagna, you just want to let it stand for Thank about you. 45 minutes so it's like that's doesn't yours. get too... Boop. This is mine. Mine's almost gone, Joey. Mm. Cheers, everyone. Very bad. Well, Salute. Thank you so much. <laughs> and this is Zara's first television appearance. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Your recipe well. is great. What do you think? Great. Wow. Tasty. Amazing. Tasty, oh, right? Thank yeah. You. Really good. So if you can't drop off a pan and have it filled with lasagna in your neighborhood, at least now you have this delicious recipe. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Martha.